I got scammed by the Boss Babes Co. Um, this is what happened. Hey guys, it's Tia. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, I want to say that I don't like making these types of videos where I'm exposing people and normally I don't have a need to do it either, but we're gonna just have to do this. As a disclaimer, this is the experience that I've been having with this brand and this is the experience of several girls and women who have DM'd me on Instagram asking for help and while I can't speak for everyone, um, this is something that has happened to multiple people but I don't want you guys to take this and like go bash the entire company just because of the experience that some of us have had. I know other people have had great experiences with this brand so take that into consideration. This is what happened to me and what has unfortunately happened to several other influencers. So let's start at the very beginning. Who is the Boss Babes Co? The Boss... can't even pronounce their name now. The Boss Babes Co is a brand that um, produces like clothing and stuff and they are a female empowerment driven brand um, based in Colorado and they reach out to different small Instagram influencers usually and ask them to like represent their brand um, by um, giving them like a discount code to give to their followers and normally like some sort of discount for themselves personally as an ambassador for the brand. Why am I having such a hard time talking today? Oh my. So back in March, I believe, um, when quarantine first started, I was trying to look at ways to expand my social media influencer type thing. And um, I was just getting started on TikTok. So I was looking for a brand to work with for the summer. So I was like, okay, well, here's the Boss Babes Co. And like their ads would pop up on my Instagram all the time. And I know other people who have worked with them that had a good experience, I mean. And I was like, okay, well, let's give it a shot. So I DM'd them and they have two brands actually that are attached to each other. I'm not gonna say what the other one is, but I contacted them and they were very quick to respond and everything. Communication was great initially. And um, we talked for like an hour um, through Instagram DMs about how I was going to work with them, um, the discount code they were going to give me to give to my followers, and all those things. And like along the way we um, established a few things that they would do for me as a result. One of the very first things that they promised to do was to repost my content if I tagged them. So when we got, had gotten all that out of the way, I was like, okay, we're good to go. Um, this is probably going to be good, and I wasn't, I didn't see anything wrong right there at the start. And, um, let's see, shipping actually wasn't so much of a problem. Um, some other people had said they had issues with shipping, but for me, um, it wasn't an issue. Um, shipping was pretty fast, actually. They got my package to me in, like, six days, which was a lot faster than what most people experienced. And so when I got the package in the mail, I actually, like, you know, took a picture of the package, blurred out my address, obviously, and posted it on my Instagram story and tagged them. Um, they never saw my Instagram story. They never reposted it. So I was like, okay, maybe they just mean that it needs to be a feed post. So I did that. And they never made any acknowledgement of that the posts that I had been making involving them. So I posted on my story again of like me wearing the beanie that I had ordered. You guys probably remember that. And um, at that point, <laughs> they didn't see it either. And um, so like a couple weeks go by and they still haven't communicated anything with me after I received the package. So I was like, okay, this is getting a little weird. So, um, so I DM'd them and nobody responded. So I tried DMing them like again, like a week later. And since then, literally nobody has responded. It is like the end of April, beginning of May at this point. And I was like, okay, this is really weird. It's been like over a month since I talked with them initially and they haven't carried out anything that they had promised to me. So it was a little bit weird. And I was like, okay, well, I'll still like post about the, you know, the discount code, which some of you guys have still been using it. So it's still down below, by the way, in the description box if you still want to use it. Cause honestly, I will still give you guys the discount code. It's up to you guys what you want to do. Um, so <laughs> at that point, um, my video that I posted initially about the brand did really, really good here on YouTube. It's gotten almost like 400 views, I think at this point when I'm filming this video and um, so I was like okay whatever we'll leave the video up then I after that like I started getting like a, several DMs a week I still am getting those DMs um, two months after that um, of people asking me like 
hey, can I actually trust them? Or, hey, my package just never showed up. Or, hey, they didn't keep their promises. So that's why I kind of made this video. Um, as I said, this is my experience. This is the experience of several other influencers on Instagram. This is not everyone's experience, obviously, but there are some things I want to touch on as well. So, in addition to their broken promises and some of these influencers' packages just never getting to them and poor communication, all these different things, there were two other things that kind of bothered me. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm African American and Asian. So, um, something that kind of bothered me about the brand was while they promote a culture of diversity and inclusion, um, during the COVID-19 outbreak, they were not um, giving any, like, words of um, solidarity with the Asian community who has, obviously, if you live in America especially, you know that Asians do get attacked um, under the suspect that they have COVID-19, which is absolutely wrong. And secondly, so they didn't say anything about that, even though they have several Asian influencers working with them. And then secondly, um, when the Black Lives Matter movement started, take it as you will, take it as you will, it's more of the phrase that I, that I support. Obviously, you should be supporting social justice and stuff like that, so don't don't go into some outbreak in the comments. But um, they didn't make very much acknowledgement. They just did the bare minimum. They did Blackout Tuesday. Um, they said something along the lines of, we stand with our black influencers, but they didn't, like, continue to, like, make that obvious. Like, it was a very dry statement that didn't... It didn't seem like it really came from their heart if you know what I mean. So I think like they could do a better job of expressing solidarity with their creators and influencers who are involved with their company because if they're going to have a culture of diversity and inclusion, they're going to have to take that seriously and think about what that really means. Needless to say, um, I probably won't be working with them <laughs> after a while. I mean, obviously, like they don't, ha they don't like retract your discount code or anything like that as far as I know. So... With that being said, the discount code is still down below along with a link to the store, so you can definitely still go and get 30% off your order from them. I honestly, like, I'll give it to you guys. Like, just do it, you know? They do have some really cute items and stuff, so. But I myself, I probably won't be buying from them anymore, and, um, but use my discount code, the Realty Monet, at their store at checkout. Um, there will be a place, like, I think on the left side, right? Or left? I don't know my directions. I think it's on the right side of the screen at checkout where you can put in the discount code. And um, they do worldwide shipping as far as I know. So, But um, for any fellow influencers who had questions about the Boss Babes Co., I hope that helped you guys. Um, for everyone else, um, please don't go um, after them. <laughs> I know I have really strong supporters from TikTok who literally like pride themselves on going after people, but please don't. Um, like harass this company or any member any member or influencer that is involved with them that's not what the goal is this is just me sharing my experience and the experience of other influencers so um just <laughs> everyone stay safe um covid is still a real thing it's still going around so you know wear a mask social distance wash your hands please and um yeah so all my social medias are linked down below and don't forget to keep up with me on tiktok and instagram those are my next most active social media platforms and um i will hopefully have another video up next week or in two weeks we don't know we'll see but um subscribe if you haven't yet and leave your thoughts down below tell me what you think and keep shining bright lovelies your light doesn't go unnoticed bye